Hey there, tennis fans. I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today, and it ships today. First week falls have hit some players pretty darn hard at Wimbledon. In back-to-back -back center court matches, Adrian Manorino and Serena Williams both slipped and fell to the grass, suffering injuries that forced them both to retire in the first round. Serena's quest for number 24 came to a shocking end at 3-all in her opener when she slipped and fell, injuring her right leg. That crash came just after Manorino, who was very solid against Roger Federer, tumbled out after suffering a right knee injury before the start of the fifth set. Novak Djokovic and Andy Murray have both taken several spills, and all this slip and sliding away has caused a lot of people to question whether Wimbledon's grass is too slick and dangerous. Roger Federer says the lawn does seem a little more slippery when the roof is closed on center court, but says as more matches are played, the grass will harden and it'll be more stable. He says in the meantime, players have to move very carefully out there. If you push too hard in the wrong moments, you're gonna go down. Roger says the key is always getting through those first couple of matches when the grass is very slick. But the All England Club has defended their turf, saying that all courts are inspected each day before play and they are happy with the conditions. So why does it seem that so many players are struggling to stay on their feet this year? Well, timing is one reason. Wimbledon was canceled last year, so a lot of players haven't been on grass in two years. Roland Garros was pushed back one week this spring, and that, of course, shortened the grass season by a week, so less prep time for the players. And then add in all the rain they've been getting in London, which means the roof gets closed and that keeps the courts very moist. So, what to do? Wimbledon could allow more pre-tournament practice on show courts to break in the areas behind the baseline. The idea has been raised to lengthen the grass court season, though obviously that could create some scheduling issues with the clay season. Governing bodies could elevate Queen's Club or another grass tournament to a Masters 1000 status, which would create a larger field and more opportunity for grass play, though obviously you'd need facilities and more prize money to do that. No question, grass is tricky. It requires great footwork and certainly a lot of practice, but the unpredictability is what makes it so fun for all of us to watch. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.